One of the things people like most about country music is that every song seems to tell a story. WCCO's Kim Johnson tells us the story tonight of how a local country singer bought a rundown club in Sauk Rapids and turned it into the best country bar in Minnesota. There are all kinds of clubs and bars in Minnesota. You've got your rock clubs, your biker bars, and yes, your high-end fern bars. But how do you spot a good country bar? If there's an old thrashing machine somewhere in the parking lot, along with a full-size NASCAR replica, you may have just found yourself a country bar. But you won't know if it's a good country bar until you step inside and hear the music and meet the owner. Rollin Carl Hogriff, dishwasher. Okay. That's true, Raleigh Hogriff does a little of everything in this place, but he is the owner of Raleigh's Rednecks and Longnecks Bar in Sock Rapids, the best country bar in Minnesota. But don't let the name scare you away. A redneck is a big misconception, you know. It's just a working American contributor. We, we don't just cater to one person. We would cater to everybody, pretty much. This space is like a museum dedicated to the country music genre. We've had a lot of great shows and a lot of good times. But the story of how Raleigh came to own this place plays like a classic country song. Broke. <laughs> About 30 years playing at bars, singing country music, and I had a passion for country music. I used to play this bar back in the day when it was called the Hitchin' Post. And uh, I told my wife one night after we got done playing, I said, this place is ever going for sale, we're going to, we're to buy it and turn it around. In 2009, that dream came true. They opened the first night with an ode to his father, who had passed away. My dad was a huge Stonewall Jackson fan, and I told my mom when I bought the bar, the first act where he gives me Stonewall Jackson for my dad. And by God, we got him up here, and he played here. And he did a great, great show. He called me a week later to thank me for the show. And he told me he was out fishing with George Jones. And George said, hi, Raleigh. Now, for those of you not familiar with the artists of the genre, a call from George Jones is akin to getting a call from Jagger. That was kind of the, what kickstarted everything. It went so well. And then after that, we got T.G. Shepard, Confederate Railroad. We've had so many bands. The wall is full of them here. And most of the artists that are hung on the wall have also graced this stage, where there's even a hidden piece of the Grand old Opry. How you doing, brother? Yet even with rubbing elbows with country music's biggest stars, it's friends and family that Raleigh holds most dear. They have two daughters, Amanda and Hannah, my son Zachary. My wife is probably one of the, you know, we've been married for 24 years in a row. He and his family turn out top-notch food. This is called curry, but we call it lover on here. The greatest part about Owners Club is we've developed so many great friendships with so many good people, it's unbelievable.